John Cena's coming back today in general manager mode to defend his World Heavyweight title, but it's going to be an uphill battle. Cena is still injured with strained quadriceps for another two weeks, but Triple H is invoking his rematch clause for the World Heavyweight title, which is our main event tonight right here. Let's go ahead and build out the rest of this card here. I think we're going to kick things off here with a classic. I'm thinking Kurt Angle. We're going to get him in some singles competition here. I think we're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, both are very high in popularity. I'm going to go ahead and match two, another singles match. Psychosis defeating Super Crazy last week on Velocity. And of course, Gregory Helms uh, retaining his Cruiserweight title. That man is just absolutely destroying this entire division. So we're going to have Psychosis and Gregory Helms. If Psychosis wins, we'll give him an opportunity next week at the Cruiserweight title. You know what, let's actually go and make this a ladder match. Make it, make, make it big time here. And look at this, the game already knows I want. We got Kane and Undertaker, the Brothers of Destruction, making their debut tonight here on SmackDown. And they're taking on the Tag Team Champions, Batista and Randy Orton. Yeah, 89, 84, 62, 70. All right, this should be easily three stars. Come on now. All right, match five. Let's go ahead and shine a spotlight on the United States title division. I'm going to get a big show. Finley will do JBL and Shelton Benjamin, and the winner will challenge Johnny Nitro for the United States title in just two weeks' time. So we got that match. We got one more here on the main card. All right, match four here. Let me go ahead and get Johnny Nitro in. Do Johnny Nitro versus... Booker T. I like that. We'll do that, and then we'll get a one-on-one -on -one match here on Velocity. We got Chavo and... Is it Super Crazy? Is that what's left? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got all seven matches. Hyping up that World Heavyweight Championship match. Let's go ahead and confirm the card and see what Lincoln, Nebraska has in store for us tonight. Chavo and Super Crazy here on Velocity. Come to SmackDown early, see the Cruiserweights flying all over the place. Give me Super Crazy. And it's Chavo. I mean, good for Chavo. I mean, he's been on a bit of a losing streak lately, so... Kurt Angle and Rey Mysterio one-on-one. -on -one. Go ahead and give me Kurt Angle. I want to see him move up the ranks here on SmackDown. Of course, we traded him for Edge after that whole rivalry ended with Cena. I want to see him do, some, do something here on SmackDown. And there you go, Kurt Angle with the win. Debut of the Brothers of Destruction. Are they the ones to defeat Evolution? This is a non-title match, but of course, if they win, that definitely puts them in the running for an opportunity at the tag titles. Give me the Brothers of Destruction. Come on, King Undertaker. Oh my god. Are you serious, dude? This Why is this team unbeatable? Regardless, Booker T, Johnny Nitro one-on-one -on -one here, non-title match. Give me Johnny Nitro, keep that US title looking strong. And it's gonna be Booker T. Wow, I know we got a fatal four-way match, but I mean, maybe Booker T's earned himself a shot at the US title. Psychosis here has an opportunity to defeat Gregory Helms, and if he does, in this latter match, he will get an opportunity next week at the Cruiserweight Championship. Psychosis, can he pull it off? And it's gonna be Gregory Helms, dude. Gregory Helms has just locked down the Cruiserweight division, and Evolution has just seemed to have locked down the Tag Team division. Big Show, Finley, Shelton Benjamin, and JBL. The winner will challenge for the US title in two weeks. I kind of want to see Big Show win, but I also want to give a push to Shelton Benjamin. I'll be happy with the Big Show or Shelton Benjamin, but I'm going Shelton. Come on. And it's going to be Big Show. Look at that, right out of the gate, he's going after that US title. Can Johnny Nitro beat Big Show? I don't know, man. I don't know about any of that, but what I do know is that it is time for our main event. He still has two more weeks to heal up, but he is out of time, unfortunately. Triple H is invoking his rematch clause. The World Heavyweight title is on the line. Let's get right to it. Triple H making his way down to the ring. He has had to wait three weeks for this opportunity to have a chance at regaining his World Heavyweight title that he lost at Judgment Day to John Cena inside that Hell in a Cell, and he has been in a foul mood ever since he lost that title. Looking to regain it here tonight. Can he do what he has yet to be able to do? And that's defeat John Cena. John Cena is back here on SmackDown, and he, look at him. He is so happy to be back with that World Heavyweight title in hand. But is he back too early? Still another two weeks left to recover that strained quadricep he suffered back at Judgment Day inside Hell in a Cell. You can see he's limping on it, and I know Triple H is going to be using that as a bullseye. That is a weak spot for John Cena, and that may be the difference between him walking out of here either with or without the World Heavyweight Championship. Here we go, we are underway, folks. This is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H invoking his rematch clause. John Cena, the champion. Of course. Oh my god, there's a big clothesline now. Look at this now, an illegal choke on John Cena. Of course, he's got a five count to work with, and you gotta imagine that the, the strategy for the challenger is to go right after that bad leg, the strained quadricep of John Cena. Damage, and you saw Triple H right there go for the bad leg, and Cena was able to thwart it. It's a thump to the eye. They don't call him the Cerebral Assassin, one of the dirtiest players in the game. You learn from one of the dirtiest players in the game, that being Ric Flair from behind now, Triple H. Oh my god, and a low blow, and I don't think the ref caught that. And you can hear the disdain from the crowd. They were not happy about that one. And Elias right back to the bad leg. 
right to the bad and the injured leg of John Cena. And you can see Cena immediately clutching at that leg. That's something that he needs to keep Triple H away from. That's a bullseye for Triple H right now. Both men jockeying for position, fighting for control. Look at the strength of Cena, and that was on the good leg. That was on the good leg, but you saw him drop down. It's like Cena just Cena can't win this match just by playing defense. He's gotta he's gotta inflict damage on Triple H, and he's gonna have to use that bad leg if he wants to do just that. Here we go now, John Cena side headlock. And honestly, this might be the play for Cena. Slow down the pace of the matchup. Slow down Triple H's momentum, and you know that well, kick to the midsection. Triple H maybe go for a pedigree there. You can see Triple H is definitely feeling the effects of that bar brawl from last week. Still probably recovering from that Hell in a Cell match. Like, I don't think people understand how gruesome a Hell in a Cell match can be and what it can do to your career. Cena so, you know, kicking with those, oh, with his good leg and then sending Triple H right into the air. A lot of people were, were skeptical on whether or not John Cena would be the one to take Evolution off of the, the top of the mountain here, take Triple H out, and there's a big right hand by the Cerebral Assassin. This is not what John Cena needs. Triple H, I'm surprised he hasn't been going for the uh, for the, for the the bad leg of, of, of John Cena more. Um, right as I say it. I had to open my damn mouth because this is just where Triple H becomes so violent. And now he's going after the good leg. Triple H is trying to cripple John Cena right now. He's already got one bad leg, and now he's working on the other one. And that might actually be the strategy for Triple H. Just take both legs away from John Cena. If you can't stand, you can't fight. And it's just smart right here. What is that? Fisherman suplex by John Cena. You saw he put a majority of the pressure on that right leg, the good leg. You know, the longer this match goes, the more it will favor Triple H. What's Cena going for here? And oh, ringing the, the dome of Triple H. But was that smart to put pressure on the bad leg? He's suffering from arm pain and right back to, the, to, the, to that quadricep, the bad leg of Cena. Here comes the game now. Smelling blood in the water. Dropping the knee right across the bridge of the nose. Of course, those first two months was absolutely brutal. Such a dark day for SmackDown when Evolution was just completely in control. John Cena able to find a crack, but is he able to, to keep Triple H away from the World Heavyweight title as a delayed vertical suplex? Watch out now. Oh, a low blow to Cena. And now look at this. No way. Not like this. Like... A pedigree on John Cena. Down goes John. A low blow and a pedigree. It can't end like this. Not like this, ref. No, not for the world title. Oh my god, no. You have got to be absolutely kidding me. Triple H is once again the world heavyweight champion. And John Cena may have exasperated his injury by coming back as early as he did. He didn't really have a choice. You know, he was, he was going to be out for at least four weeks, which means I either had to put him in the match or yank the title away. And you, you got to at least give the man a fighting chance. But Triple H is once again the World Heavyweight Champion. Evolution is still on top with the tag titles. Who can stop this group? We are back to the dark days on SmackDown. Triple H, the brand new World Heavyweight Champion. It has been an eventful night here on SmackDown. Let's check out the fan results. And we got a fan change. Raw 60,000? What? How the hell does that work? What we got here? Is this, who is this, super crazy? Psychosis is suffering from back spasms. He's out for two weeks, okay. And Ken Kennedy, don't care. Shelton Benjamin couldn't win a match if their opponent was flat on their back and asleep in the ring. Wow, you don't gotta be doing him like that. That's kind of crazy. We are still ahead though by 100,000 fans, despite that 60,000 uh, fan loss. Uh, Eddie Guerrero, new WWE Champion, and Triple H, four-star main event. Love to see it. Finley is now 100%. The Achilles tendon has worn off, and uh, Psychosis out for two weeks with back spasms. Undertaker's still looking for a title shot, and I believe Cena's out for another week. Yeah, here he is. Yeah, John Cena out for another week, and Psychosis is out for two. Is that, those the only two injuries we got? I hope. Yes. Perfect. All right, good. All championships are locked down in their respective divisions. Triple H has locked down the World Heavyweight title. Evolution, Batista and Orton have locked down the tag titles. Johnny Nitro has seemingly locked down the United States title. And Gregory Helms is just dominating the Cruiserweights. There's just no giveaway in any of my divisions. Two stars for them. Okay, not a, not a terrible show. Definitely this was the low point here. Um, Four-star main event, love to see that. And fan support over here. Raw's closing in a little bit. We're still ahead by 100,000, but they do have a pay-per-view coming up, I believe. Check out the Power 25 here. Triple H coming back to number one overall, and of course on SmackDown. Batista and Orton have surpassed John Cena. So now Evolution is number one and number two on the Power 25 ranking. That is absolutely crazy. Cena drops from number one to number three. 
Angle and Ray remain the same after Angle's victory over Ray Mysterio. Gregory Helms is up to number seven. How is Gregory Helms about to be in contention for a world title? If he gets to number five, that's crazy. Booker T up to number seven. Nitro up to eight. Kane and Undertaker debut at number nine. JBU up to number 10. Finley down to 11. Big Show making his debut at number 12. Super Crazy at 13. Hardcore Holly at 14. And Psychosis in at 15. It is a very dark time here for Friday Night Smackdown and for myself being the GM of this brand. Evolution has completely taken over once again. I, I don't know who I gotta hire. I, I gotta hire somebody. Because if it's not gonna be John Cena and it's not gonna be the Brothers of Destruction, I don't know who it's gonna be. In due time, we will find out, hopefully, if there's someone that can knock Evolution off their pedestal, but they, for now, are in charge of everything. Um, that's all I got for General Manager Mode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.